Philadelphia's very own Monet Davis is heading off to college. You'll recall that she gained fame as a pitcher in the Little League World Series. KYW News Radio's Cherry Gregg caught up with Davis at the place where it all began. Look at this one. Yeah, my pink glove. For Monet Davis, Marion Anderson Rec Center in South Philly is home. And the evidence is all over the walls. It's the place where Mo first picked up a bat and ball, around seven years old. I probably have more swag back then than I have now. Today, at 18, she's all grown up and just a little famous. No one expects to get that much attention. Her rise began at 13 when her fastball helped her Taney Dragons team. That girl back then, she was just going out having fun. Philly fell in love with the bright-eyed teen and so did the world with Davis landing the cover of Sports Illustrated. Hearing the news that I bumped Kobe Bryant off, like that's, that's insane. Since then, she's won an SB, traveled the country with her team, wrote a book, shared her story with kids. The plan at the time, play D1 basketball, but that all changed. It just wasn't fun for me. So she chose softball, making the decision to play for Hampton University's Lady Pirates. It just felt like, I should, I fit right in with everybody. She'll study communications. The plan is to go into sports broadcasting. She's already started with an internship with the Phillies video team. And I got to interview Jimmy Rollins, Chase Utley, Ryan Howard. And she plans to use her spotlight, just like her sheroes, Serena Williams and the U.S. women's soccer team to advocate for women's equality in sports. I'm just trying to follow in those footsteps. And while a lot has changed since she began, much has stayed the same like her friends and her coach, Steve Bandura, and her love for Marion Anderson Rec Center. So what do you think you'll miss most about this place? Just being ourselves and just really, just kind of, just being children, um, doing the thing that we love. And she's hoping these images of her just being a kid will inspire others to do what they love too. In South Philadelphia, Cherry Gregg, KW News Radio for CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Good for her. Yeah. She is amazing. She's going to do great things down there. Whatever she does, I think she will be a success. Absolutely.